Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, can I slice tensors with logical indexing or lists of indices? Let's break down the question. Our viewer is trying to slice a PyTorch tensor using a logical index on the columns. They want to select columns that correspond to a one value in their index vector. While both slicing and logical indexing are possible, the real question is, can they be used together? And if so, how? Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. In this video, we'll explore how to slice PyTorch tensors using logical indexing and lists of indices. Let's start by understanding the problem. First, let's look at an example where we attempt to use logical indexing on the columns of a tensor. Here's our initial setup. We create a logical index using a byte tensor. However, when we try to slice the tensor using this logical index, we encounter an error. To successfully use logical indexing, the vectors must be the same size. Alternatively, we can repeat the logical index to match the tensor's dimensions. Lastly, if we want to use a list of indices, we can do so, but it must be a long tensor. Let's see how slicing works with contiguous ranges. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can slice tensors using logical indexing or lists of indices in PyTorch. For example, you can access entire rows or specific elements easily. If you try to access an element with too many indices, like R11, you'll get an index error. However, you can use lists of indices to get specific elements. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.